नमस्कार दर्शकों मैं हूं अंशिता श्रीवास्तव और स्वागत है आपका न्यूज 81 एंटरटेनमेंट में हम दिखाते हैं आपको देश दुनिया की अहम खबरें तो उसी कड़ी में ले चलते हैं आपको हमारी एक खास रिपोर्ट की तरफ I do have some uh, some comments on acne in general because we're talking about an atrophic scarring situation of uh, either the deeply tethered ice picks or the rolling or the box scar scars, stretch marks, and, uh, and that is how it might also improve stretch marks to a certain degree. I think uh, I'm going to say something. I don't mention so much to say something about stretch marks, but I'll just say that stretch marks are instances of dermal rupture with an intact epidermis. However, the degree of rupture of the dermis can either be partial or full thickness. I think plastic surgeons understand it very, very easily. Okay. So, how many cells are left behind is what makes it more important. Because if we can stimulate these cells to produce the HA and the elastin to actually increase the fullness, to increase the bulk of the residual dermis, you have, in essence, improved the appearance of your stretch mark. And that's a similar thinking atrophic scars of uh, uh, secondary to acne. For that, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for that matter, chicken pots, which uh, is quite, quite uh, clearly showed up uh, uh, on the Asian skin. Mitch. My thing is if you're using a dermal roller, you need to put it on immediately. Um, but then a dermal roller is going to cause a little bit of inflammation, and so then using the cream afterwards may work. But as Ivor just said, it's only going to work if there's still um, <clears throat> fibroblasts in the dermis that you can stimulate to make more collagen elastic fibers. Um, and so it's our, our preliminary results on stretch marks are difficult because there's so many different degrees of stretch marks that you have to really um, qualify it. Red stretch marks would still have an abundance of fibroblasts. You'll be able to treat a lot easier than 20-year-old uh, white stretch marks. I'm from Singapore, that's what we do, you know, but, but certainly uh, it works. I think uh, primarily a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, the doctors in the audience uh, do aesthetics, either as plastic surgeons or as dermatologists or as GP aesthetics, but certainly this is a great product for the aesthetic angle and I'll show you some scar data. Uh, be it a micro needling. And some of our Indonesian ladies uh, from where we come from, they just like using Clarisonics and then the syrup. Anything which will increase permeability, permeability but so will absorb calcium, uh, will increase calcium absorption of the syrup. Of the syrup. So it's not as effective with a laser which does not disturb the integrity. Ultimately, we're using any fractional uh, laser, although it says non ablative, it disrupts so the epidermis to some extent. To a very small extent, yeah. Okay. And that will increase the absorption. I just want to add one point here. It's actually going to be interesting because we have some great on the Indian market, on the Indian skin, and I think uh, with regards to scars and melasma, those are questions, uh, if you look at your program agenda, that are going to be answered by Dr. Mittal and Dr. Kapoor, who will be joining me shortly. So I think it will be holistic um, in that sense. Let's so take a further next step into this field. For the next session, uh, before we actually move on to the next session, here I would like you to have your cup of coffee and we'll be reassembling after say 20 minutes or so. knowledge that we were sent from Singapore with derma rollers and chemical peels. Of course today after the lecture I'm very very confident to use it with my lasers too but these are what we did. We also had the multi-action cream and the restorative cream which was given to our clients after the procedure was done. So first the beautiful pink bottle 
As we say, it's a beautiful pink bottle which has active stem cells, the proteins from the stem cells packed inside. But this is not for selling to your client. This has to be used inside the clinic post the procedure. Now this beautiful 4ml bottle, right? It's quite expensive too. So how do we make sure that this bottle is made to full use and to give the best result? So it was scientifically backed. Good product knowledge is very important because your patients would come and ask you, oh, what's the difference between this and the plant stem cells? We go to so and so salon and get a stem cell facial. It is very much pH balanced. The color of the bottle might change from person to person depending on the acidic and the alkaline value. So not to worry about that. So this was the first patient. These patients had volunteered for the study. The patient wanted just general skin rejuvenation. Yes. So you would want to basically be doing the serum every time you're doing the derma roller. I, I personally don't think uh, you need the serum uh, in between because of course it's a little bit uh, expensive. So I would be using the multi-action cream uh, in between. So like one bottle of the serum probably could be used for two or three derma roller treatments which would be very cost effective and then continue the patient on the the cream in between the, the treatments. So maybe um, we can just label the serum bottle and keep it in the clinic for that particular patient. Yes, yes. I think that's uh, that's pretty good uh, rationale. The only caution is that I wouldn't dilute it down because as we saw in the clinical studies, if you dilute the serum, you're not going to get the same effect. I'm using like the luminous uh, M22 resurfix or a Fraxel treatment. Uh, you, you probably can, but don't dilute it. You know, if, if you've got a big face like me, you'll use about a whole bottle. If you've got a small face like Shriti, you know, like delicate face, you use like, you know, half. So you can, theoretically. But then again, you can also use the Thermage, you can buy 1,200 uh, fires and do two patients sequentially, but, you, you know, but yeah. I've not seen a single incidence of, uh, of allergic response. And just like the tumor studies, our longest follow-up so far has been eight years. Doctors should know before trying it out on our patients. Uh, so far, we have uh, there's been no contraindication. I think, uh, and interestingly, uh, we had a patient who has uh, 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 who's prone to psoriasis, and, and you know, it's, oh, is it contraindication? Put it on this patient with psoriasis. And the doctor did it anyway, and that's been no no problem. So so far, there's been no contraindication. I don't know, Mitch, any contraindication from your side? Not that I know of. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Geetika I'm from Isaac International Skin and Anti-Aging Center. I'm the founder and the medical director. I run this place for almost 10 years now and we are all over Delhi. We are in Chhatrapur, we are in Vasant Vihar, Vasant Kunj, Defense Colony, Friends Colony and Gurgaon. So we do all the medical procedures for skin, for your hair, for your anti-aging and these all procedures are non-surgical in nature. We are a team of dermatologists which believe in the latest medical technologies to give you the result with the non-surgical specificity. So today I'm at the launch of the Calisium which is a patent technology of using stem cells. These umbilical cord stem cells which are used in the aesthetic industry for anti-aging benefits. I've used it in my clinic for skin rejuvenation and my patients are extremely happy. So this treatment can be done at any of my clinics. You can look up by the name Isaac, International Skin and Anti-Aging Center. Thank you.
is for right now, it's an interesting So it's, it's, it's a beautiful moment. And I'm thinking all the old patient start using the day. And after the first days I have been this week, so it's a bit difficult. Well, I'm Shri from Infinity and uh, you know we're very excited to be here today because we are doing the launch of a Singapore-based stem cell product and our company is a distribution consultancy firm which means that it helps foreign players sell in the internet. The event here is, uh, you know, it's hosting doctors from different parts of the country, uh, especially North India. We have uh, participation from Nepal, we have participation from Bangladesh, so it's actually very interesting. Uh, a lot of people are Yes, yes, and we've got international speakers who sort of come, you know, from afar to be a part of this, to support my company, which is great. Oh, yes, absolutely. So we actually represent uh, Calisum in the Indian subcontinent, which is India and about uh, seven other countries. Yes, it is. I mean, the idea is to help doctors understand how they can, you know, use it as a part of their internet. And how long have you been with them? With uh, Cell Research Corporation, I've been working with them now for a couple of years, about two to three years. But actually, is one of our biggest patrons of this stem cell technology, and you know, you can at his clinic find these treatments, uh, which we have co-curated. And I think he is one of the most, uh, you know, phenomenal uh, practitioners in the industry today. And I think being, uh, you know, able to work with him is an honor. And uh, you know, we're really proud to be associated to Mac, and uh, we really hope that we can, even in the future, continue to have great support from Dr. Kuhn. इसी के चलते मैं आपसे विदा लेती हूँ फिर हाजिर होंगे कुछ और नई खबरों के साथ देखते रहिए तब तक हमारे साथ न्यूज 81 एंटरटेनमेंट